you play AMIP on the classical guitar. I'm Sean Beavers and this is Smart Classical Guitar. AMIP is one of the two most fundamental classical guitar right hand techniques along with PIMA. I recently covered PIMA in another video and I encourage you to check that one out as well. In this video we're going to dive into AMIP. And I got this concept that PIMA and AMIP are the most fundamental classical guitar techniques from Solo Duo. That's Lorenzo Michele and Matteo Mella, two fantastic Italian guitar players. They did a technique workshop I attended years ago, and I was on the edge of my seat waiting to see what they would say in this technique workshop. And they said, hey, right hand classical guitar really breaks down to understanding PIMA and AMIP. Most of the other things you'll do in the right hand are variations on these principles that you understand when you play PIMA well and you play AMIP well. So we're going to dive into AMIP in this video. Uh, let me talk about the little exercise that I did there at the beginning. Uh, I basically did the right hand pattern that's in Brower Etude 6. And so this pattern goes P A M I A M I P A M I P. Uh, so I'll break that down just a little more. So the thumb plays on the fifth string, then AMI on the trebles, then AMI on the trebles again, thumb on the fourth string, then AMI moves down to the second, third, and fourth strings, and then the thumb on the fifth string. Okay? And in the left hand, I'm not doing the Brower Etude 6 uh, chord progression. I'm actually just doing an A major chord, an A major 7 chord, an A dominant 7 chord, and back to an A major 7 chord. Now this reminds me of Kiss Me by Sixpence None the Richer. Before we dive into the specifics of the right hand, I'll play this exercise one more time for you. Now let's dive into the specifics of the right hand. So when you're playing AMIP, you want to use what's called sequential planting. That is, you plant each finger on the string right as the previous finger plays. So I'm going to start with A on the string, and I want to have a combination of nail and flesh. In other words, I want to get the string between the nail and the skin. And so as I pluck with A, I'm going to plant M. As I pluck M, I'm going to plant I. As I pluck I, I'm going to plant P. Now as P plays, index, middle, and ring will all extend together, so it's similar to PIMA in that regard, except I'm only going to plant A. The other fingers are not going to plant. So then as A plays, M plants, M plays, I plants, I plays, P plants, P plays, A plants, and the M and I extend with A, but they do not plant, okay? The pinky just moves along with the A finger. It doesn't uh, need to do a lot, and in fact, you don't want tension in your pinky finger. You just want it to move along with the A. So we'll do it again. A plays M plants, M plays I plants, I plays P plants, P plays and A plants, and the M and I extend with the A but do not plant. The pinky, of course, is flexing and extending along with A. So one more time. So A plays, pinky flexing along, M plants as A plays. Now M plays, I plants, I plays, P plants, P plays, A extends with the pinky and with the middle and the index, but only the A plants. Now let's go over the pattern that I played at the beginning of the video. P plays an A plants, A plays an M plants, M plays an I plants, I plays an A plants, now this is a variation on AMIP, A plays an M plants, M plays an I plants, I plays an P plants, P plays an A plants on the second string, A plays an M plants, the whole hand moves toward the ceiling a little bit, M plays an I plants, I plays an P plants. That's the whole pattern. Then P is going to play again, and A is going to plant. The whole hand is going to move slightly toward the floor as you move the fingers back to the treble strings. A plays an M plants, 
M plays an I plants, I plays an A plants, A plays an M plants, M plays an I plants, I plays an P plants, P plays an A plants on the second string, A plays an M plants on the third string, and the whole hand moves slightly toward the ceiling. M plays an I plants, I plays an P plants, then P plays, and then P's gonna play again to repeat the pattern. So I will play the whole pattern I played at the beginning of the video, and I'll play a little slowly so you can see what my right hand is doing. So that was some detail in how to play AMIP. Now, if you want some more details about the way the right hand fingers move, I encourage you to check out my PIMA video and some of my other right hand technique videos on this channel. Also, you may like to find a method book that gives more detail about these right hand movements. Aaron Shearer, Learning the Classic Guitar Parts 1 and 2, uh, provide a lot of details about how the right hand should move. Uh, so I recommend those method books uh, for this specific topic of right hand movement. I'm going to provide links to those in the description below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, then you may also like my free guide, How to Supercharge Your Guitar Practice. You can get it by following the link in the description that is seanbeavers.us slash subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.